Hey guys, it's JH. Welcome to Practice T. Let me get a golf club right here. Ugh. Now guys, the videos from now on are only going to be um, videos that don't have a lot of difference in them, a lot of change. They'll incorporate quite a bit now about the three lever because that's what I'm working on for me, for JH. I want to, I want to cultivate this. I want to try and do that. I've got anywhere near that yet, but it's feeling good. It's feeling really nice. <clears throat> Haven't hit any shots today. I'll just, I'll hit a couple down here. Got a five iron here, guys. Just hit a couple down here. You mightn't be able to see it, but. But watch how easy and leisurely this swing is now. And I don't have to warm up. That's the good thing about it because I've got this nice softness feeling in my levers now. So watch this. And the wind's not super strong today. It's probably about 25 k's but it's coming across here and wants to blow the ball left but it's nowhere near the way what it has been of late but see guys that's a dead cold golf swing see how easy that is just fold it up change They're just Xerox copies. And that's a good thing with the, with the golf swing now. I can just step up dead cold and do that because the swing's very uncomplicated now. The JH protocol is just set in cement. And the only thing I'm adding to it is the, is the, is that. Just that, guys. Just a bicep curl with both arms. Just sit in your lounge chair at home or something and just get a couple little dumbbells and just do some, just do some little bicep curls and just incorporate a turn with it. There it is. That's what I feel. That's what I'm trying to feel. A couple of little bicep curls with a turn. I haven't got anywhere near that, guys, but that's where I'm going. Because just with the amount that I've got at the moment, the, uh, the quality of strike is just off the scale. And at my age, to have strike quality better than I've ever had in my entire life is just crazy stuff. Hip one this way. What's interesting guys is that I know now why Harry Varden was, was regarded as the most accurate player in history. And that famous, <laughs> that famous line where uh, he didn't like 36 hole matches on the one day because he was playing out of his morning divots in the afternoon rounds. He hit the ball in the same place all the time. But I, I find that the accuracy is unbelievable. And for anybody that thinks that bending your arms like here is going to create like this is going to create problems. It's not going to create problems because the arms have to straighten through so just sheer, sheer inertial radial um, uh, gravitational velocity application. It, it just has to do that, guys. You, you know, you have to be so strong to come through with a bent lead arm and, and hold it there like that. You would have to be very strong to do that. I certainly couldn't do that. But I don't try to. I just let the club... And Harry Varden said something very interesting. He said, because they had no video in those days, and it was only late in his career when he saw some, some, some film of himself. And he said, I thought that from the top of the swing I did that. That was my intention. I got here and I went like that. that he said, that's exactly, I felt that I did that. But he said, clearly, on the film, back in those days, he said, I do that, even though I'm trying to do that. So, and Jack Nicholas said that. Jack Nicholas said he wanted to do that from the top of the swing, and so did Tom Watson, and so did Mike Austin. But it doesn't matter if you think about doing that as long as you start with a lower body component, which I keep going on 
about. But if you get up here and you do that, you can do that as a thought as much as you like. And you won't throw the club away. You just won't throw the club away. It, it will not be thrown away. You can't do it. Well, Nicholas never threw it away. Nicholas was late here. Mike Austin. So that's what we want to do, guys. We want to feel here. Five o'clock nose is so important. But just do our bicep curl with two arms. And then tricep flex. <laughs> bicep curl, tricep flex. Biceps, triceps. Anybody of you guys that work out? Bicep, tricep. That's all it is, guys. A bicep curl and a tricep flex. Well, tricep extension is the, is the technical term. That's all it is. I feel bicep, tricep. What could be, if I can get here, ultimately, here, bicep, tricep. Bicep, tricep. I'd love to be able to get the club back there. I'm gonna try. I'll probably, probably uh, whiff this, guys, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I don't know where that went, but that felt like this. Just went like a bullet. I mean, we'll say I don't know where it went. I know where the ball went, but I don't know where the club went. But it felt like this. It felt narrow in here. Here. That just went like a rocket. I mean, it's actually quite a little bit unnerving because the speed you get in the downswing is like throw out. Huge throw out. I'll try that again. Okay, for the guys that this really annoys, I'm going to say it. That's the best shot that I've ever hit since I've been on three lever. Feels like this. <laughs> feels like that. That's what it feels like. Feels like two tricep, uh, two, two bicep curls with a turn. That's what it feels like. And it's not for everybody, guys. It's what I'm doing. I'm just explaining to you what I'm doing. And the reason I'm doing it, I'm doing it because I want to get more speed. I want to get the club to travel further, and it is travelling further. I'm hitting the ball a lot further. One and a half clubs, sometimes two clubs longer. 20 yards in the air with the driver. Haven't been on any monitors yet to see what the actual numbers are, because I don't go on monitors. I mean, I do it deliberately. I know what, I, I can tell by ball flight where I am. And I've always taught by ball flight, I've never taught by monitors. So here we go, watch this. Bicep curl. Now that had to be bent. That had to be bent. That felt to me like Harry Varden looked. It really felt to me like Harry looked. It had to be bent. I'll go a little bit more this way. Bicep curl. Guys, a five iron tree up here. I've got five iron. Normally I'll just you know, fly it up to that tree. There's a little bit of wind this way today, so it's not, it's not into the wind. Normally I'll fly it right up to the base of that tree. That just flew over the tree. The tree's 40 feet high. It was still in the air and went over it. And not only did it go over it, it went right over the centre of it. Honestly, guys, with no exaggeration, which JH is a little prone to, but I promise you, this, this, is, this is a revelation. This is a breakthrough of unbelievable proportions for me. Bicep curl. There's another one. Still in the air, 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 still in the air. Now, this is the first day of decent weather that I've had to, uh, to try the swing. It's pretty windy, but it's cross, cross wind here. What's this? Bicep curl. It's just flying that tree, the tree. If that had a GoPro camera on the ball, it just takes pictures as it goes over. Tree's not in play. Tree's not in play. So 
So guys, these these videos are just um, just updates on what I'm doing with my swing. Alright, we'll try and take this back. Last shot, I'll really try and bend everything here. Try a uh, bicep curl. And I know I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Nowhere near where I want to be. But what it's also doing for me, guys, is it really is helping me with my tempo. I just feel that my tempo is much smoother and slower. Come on, bicep curl it, Josh. Now, when I work out, when I work out my timing, I still haven't got the timing yet because I get up there and think, wow, there's no torque in the swing, how am I going to get it down? But once I get that, uh, which will take a couple of sessions, I'll have a really good action. Okay, guys, just a little update on what I'm doing with my golf swing. Uh, but if you're sitting in the chair watching TV, bicep curl, bicep curl with a turn, bicep curl with a turn, two, yeah, try and bend both arms. Well, we already bend the trail arm in a golf swing anyway, but we don't want to bend it out here. We want to bend it close to us here. And if you do that, guys, if you keep that, that position there constant in the backswing, there's no elevation of the golf club. You don't get off plane. You just do that here. You don't want to take it out there and then lift it up and then do that. You don't want to do that because that changes the plane. But if I'm here at address and I just do that, I'm on the same plane. That's a good point and something that's a good facet of the golf swing. Okay, guys, have a look at that. Any feedback you need um, from me, just uh, drop a, a post on the channel.